Welcome back viewers to uh, part 2 of how to play Armada on uh, TTS. In this video we are going to be covering uh, how to set up and jo or join a game uh, as well as loading a list and spawning the pieces that you need to play a game. Uh, so there are two ways to play online is either you create a server for everyone else to join or you join a server. So to join a server if, you're, if somebody else has decided that they'll set one up and you'll go join them you just click the join button here uh, then you just enter in the server name and it will pop up in here somewhere. It can sometimes take a minute for it to pop up. I'll uh, just get rid of this one. This is the usual server name I usually load with, just fly casual. So yeah, there you go. There's a whole load of servers there you can scroll through if you wish to. Uh, but we won't be doing that today because we're not joining one. Instead today we are going to create one. So when you create, uh, you click on multiplayer so other people can join. Uh, you create the name for the server as well as a password. Uh, you have to have a password for all of them. It also helps to stop unwanted people from just crashing into your game and causing mayhem. Uh, you can set max plays here as well. Uh, if you wanted to broadcast, if for whatever reason you're broadcasting your server name and your password, but you only want you and your opponent to be able to join, you just roll this down to just two players. If you're happy to have other people join in the game as well and just come and watch watch his play, we just increase that to four. Heck, you can even increase it all the way up to ten plays if you wish. I just leave it on four because you don't mind a couple of people coming in and watching. So we click Create Server. Then we want to click where Workshop is. We click onto Star Wars. Click Amada with complete with script. Click Load, and it will load the table for us. There we go. Alrighty. So once that's finished loading up, okay, first thing we need to do is to delete these ships because they are not needed, they're just there to look pretty. Although they haven't, I don't think the creator of this has quite yet finished uh, playing around with that yet, so yeah, fun times. So I think he's got a bit more rendering to do on those. Okay, so uh, if you had, have a list saved in here already to play, you are going to go click on the objectives uh, objects, sorry, objects button here, click save objects and that's the Kraken list which you would have seen me load from the previous video and boom there it is on the table so we get rid of this box here and okay let's have a look and see what we've got Whoop! I'm pushing the wrong buttons so you're going to want to arrange this out so that way you can actually play with it in a game so just set it up how you would normally set it up on a table got some TRCs in there And Janus Light. Uh, if you've got a bit of time waiting for your opponent, you can take your time, set this up so it looks really nice and pretty. Oh, I'm just going to drop these in here for now just to speed this video up a bit. I'll do my best to make it look good if I can. Okay. Got me transport here. We've got me MC30. As you remember, there's a reason why we don't save it all in a nice pretty line here as a save, because if you do save it as a nice pretty line, you will have pieces go falling off to the table when it loads, because it always puts the first card here and goes straight that direction. Alrighty, objectives, we are going to want to place those objectives over here. This is a little hint with objectives too. If you put your if you put your cursor over them, you will see what those objectives are. So you can actually go right click into here. Uh, if we click where was the button? Uh, hide face down and I think that fixes it. Hide face down, you can even click the lock button so that way your opponent can't just come along and flip them and now they're just fixed face down, your opponent can't do anything with them you actually have to go along each individual one to um, unlock them and then unhide them or I suppose just unlock them. If you choose to be, so if you have the choice you get to be second player you then push the F button to flip them and then your opponent can see. Uh, the games I've played with so far, most people just say, oh, this is my objectives, and yeah, we're just taking face word. This is not really tournaments here, this is all just for flying a bit casual with, so we don't have to stress too much about it. Alrighty, uh, so once you've got your ships and cards and everything all arranged in the bottom here, we are going to need to spawn the pieces. So there's one very easy way to do that, and that is if you highlight all of your cards, just click on one, the first one there, uh, down here in description, if you just write spawn, spawn, 
and just click off. Down comes everything. Let's go wait for that to load. Take a little bit of time on this computer at the moment as I'm trying to record and do some things at the same time. There we go. And if I zoom in here, you will see that my. There we go. You'll see the ships are placed here now. Uh, we've even got all these defense tokens. There's this little glitch in this thing. For some reason, if you have a Lando card, it'll also drop you a Lando squadron. So just highlight over those and just delete those. You won't need those because obviously Lando's an upgrade card. He's not a squadron in this game. Okay. Uh, if you have a situation like take this A-Wing for example, I'm just going to delete that for now. Alright, uh, on the A-Wing here, let's just say I've got um, 10 A-Wing squadrons, because, you know, why wouldn't I have 10 A-Wing squadrons? You click into the description down the bottom there, you just write S-P-A-W-N, let's write 10, enter, I suppose you don't have to push enter, and oh, there they all are, look at that, all those pretty 10 A-Wings. So you can just take those, you can just leave them in the pile to really deploy them, but otherwise you can just separate them in the meantime. Uh, you're best to leave them on the side here, do not actually put them on the table, uh, because then that count, the game will think you've deployed them and it will lock them down, so that they can't be bumped and all the other fun shenanigans. so yeah, you can do all that. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and just delete all these, because I don't have that many. I only have one in this list I'd like to have this many TRC Corvettes and that many A-Wings, it'd be a lot of fun, but sadly, no. Uh, yeah, so I'll put all the tokens and everything there. If you have things that give you extra tokens um, or different tokens, you can just come over to the side here. Uh, say i got agates. Instead of I didn't have Kraken, let's say I had agates and I want to put a extra brace token onto the trans, onto there. We're just going, there we go. Drop a brace token there and you've got one. You can arrange to make it look pretty or you just leave it there and not worry about it. Uh, cool, that I think is all we need uh, to know about dropping ships. Uh, one thing you do not want to do when you spawn your ships, there's a lovely button on the sh on the base here which says shields. For the love of God, do not push it. It will just create a lot of issues. You push the shields button once you have deployed your squadrons. Uh, you've got on the side here, you've got your 52 damage deck, so you don't actually need to spawn a damage deck, it comes with one for you. Uh, if there are any other tokens that you need uh, after you spawn your ship, you will find them all on the side here. Okay, so yeah, you've got some raid tokens if you want to grab them. Uh, if you're starting off with some, uh, we've got we've got the prox mines, you've got the lovely thing, grab whales, you've got the targeting beacons. If that's all the to you want to get those tokens out early, you can grab those there. There's infinite; these are all infinitely spawning, so you can just keep dropping them and dropping them and dropping them if you wish. So you can grab those early, you can even grab those while you're waiting for your opponent to set his list up just so that way you've got them so you don't have to go looking for them later. Uh, and then uh, you can then move on to doing things like your obstacles and all your other fun shenanigans, but we'll cover that in the next video. So this is just a short one, just how to load a list and spawn your ships and get ready for playing. So, yeah, if you have any questions about those all, you can leave those in the comments section down below, and I'll do my best to answer them, and I'll see you in the next video.